In this video, I will share a very simple way to understand Black Scholes formula. It will be the simplest and most intuitive explanation you've ever seen. Say we have a call option, giving me the option to buy Tesla stock at $175 two months later. How much is this option worth? Say the contract price is K, stock price is S. Then the difference of the two definitely plays a role. Let's call it moneyness. But such moneyness only matters if you're going to exercise the option. Hence, it's weighted by the probability of exercising the contract. That probability depends on whether it's profitable to do so or not. Right now, the profit is five dollars, but it could get better or worse. So we measure the level of moneyness using loan as over K. If it's in the money, it's positive. If it's out of money, it's negative. So from the current level, it could get better. Hence, the addition of the volatility term is the expected good case scenario. It can also get worse. So the subtraction of the volatility term is the expected bad case. Then we want to know what's the chance of exercising the option on expiry date when it's good and bad. So we normalize these two events by dividing over the volatility. Let's denote D1 as the expected good case, D2 as the expected bad case, both normalized, leading to a shift on the axis. If they're to the right, that means they're in the money. If they're to the left, that means they're out of money. So their distance to the origin corresponds to how likely the option is in the money. That probability can be measured against standard normal distribution. So ND1 is the probability of exercising when it's good case. ND2 is the probability of exercising when it's bad. Now here, what's the probability of exercising the contract? We use the probability of the bad case, ND2. So this would be an underestimate because price could do better than the worst case. That's why we need to add an extra term, accounting for a beneficial price move. But it should also be weighed by the probability that the price will do better than the worst case. And that's the probability spread, which is the area between the two. When the option is deep in the money or deep out of the money, the spread is negligible. Because under those extreme cases, the probability of a price move is small. Hence, the moneyness dominates. When it's deep in the money, the probability of exercising, even when it's bad case, is close to one. Hence, the option's worth is close to the moneyness. When it's deep out of the money, the probability of exercising, good or bad, are both zero. Hence, it's worthless. If you rearrange the formula, you will get the Black-Scholes formula. Don't forget the time value of money.